Marvel are at it again. They are at it again. These people just can't help themselves. Man. <laughs> I keep telling people beware of the liberal whites. The liberal whites usually are more racist than the conservatives. The liberal whites, they like they're wolf in sheep clothing. Man, who makes things like this? Man? Who pitched this and showed it to the board and the board was like, oh yes, you know what black people would love? Hood rat nigga Miles Morales. Like who wants to watch this? They're depicting everything negative about black people and they're highlighting it in in such a glorification type way. This is the culture, the hood rats culture, that's really, really affecting black people at the moment for a very long time, keeping us stagnant. This hood rats culture, to the point where if you don't talk a certain way in the hood, sound a certain way, wear a certain thing, you know, you're quote unquote not black or not black enough. That part of the black culture, that hood, ghetto uchimama kind of mentality quite frankly is the, is the most is the dominant part that's what people look up to look at and classify as being black quote unquote but they're black people are not a monolith like how many times do you have to t tell these people this what in this is so insulting now like eddie griffin the comedian says which is very true there are different types of black people they're old folks just regular old black people. <laughs> they're African Americans, and they're niggas. Niggas are are are, are the loudmouth, violent, gangster, pants sagging, weed smoking, dope dealing, redneck part of the black people. But to the liberals, that's black people. That's what you highlight when you're talking about black people. Oh, you like watermelon and, and fried chicken, right? Yeah. Let's put that in the comic. Black people would love that. Let's make a what if Miles Morales was Thor. And you know what? Let's make him say shit like, it's hammer time. Black people would love that. <laughs> they would love that. <laughs> Niggas would love that shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They put a warning there, like, Embraces the Pirates, the, the website put a warning there. The following report may contain materials that some may find offensive. Reader discretion is advised. Ooh. I used to have this, one of these, a uh, couple of these what if uh, comics. Marvel comic found themselves in some hot water over their latest story under the Marvel what if brand. For those who didn't know Marvel's what if, Brand is a series of alternative of alternate realities for their classic characters. Popular what if stories include what if Doctor Doom became a hero, what if the Hawk had the brain of Bruce Banner, and what if Spider Man joined the Fantastic. Yep, yeah, that's the one I have. And here, in the latest what if, sees the character of Miles Morales as, a, as an alternate universe Spider Man getting the powers of the mighty Thor instead of Spider Man. It's an interesting concept, I give them that. But with this latest story, Marvel has been lambasted from multiple sides, from multiple sides over their latest depiction. All right, the latest depictions because they're depicting Miles Morales to be a ghetto hood rat. You know, you're not black unless you have a fade. So all the bald black people there, this is not for you. <laughs> He's got a tattoo right there, like a little highlight color in his hair. Of course, it's got Jordans. Oh, you're not black until you have Air Jordans. Oh, yep, niggas love Air Jordans. Niggas can't do without them. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, you're not black until you have Air Jordans. Let's put that in there. Black people would love that. Was pitching this and thought this was a good idea, man. Oh my lord! Ah, uh, the story is heavily criticized for its depiction of the traditional Nordic Asgard, Asgardian, 
of being mixed with the Bronx in New York City and it depicts black culture. Multiple examples. What's what's black culture? <laughs> well, that really icks me. What's what what is black culture? Who are these people to tell us what black culture is? This redneck culture that the black people have you know adopted needs to go. We need a new culture. And for them to put this in a comic book to glorify this it's really annoying man multiple examples include the narration to the story being <laughs> in form of a rap of of course you have to rap you're not a black if you can't rap you have to love hip hop if you're a black person that, lo that loves rock music or country music nigga you're not black nigga you gotta love hip hop Ah, <sighs> Miles Morales keeps saying this hammer tang whenever he picks up the hammer. <laughs> and of course, of course it's got graffiti on Mjolnir. Oh my lord. They take all the negative aspects of the black culture, of the quote unquote culture, and magnifies it. Ah, <sighs> Jesus Christ. And black people that are young and impressionable are going to look at this and think it's the right way to go. Man. All of the five realms, Asgard is his hood. Of course. You gotta be in the hood, nigga. You're not black if you don't live in the hood, nigga. You gotta be in the hood, my nigga. <laughs> oh my lord. The Rainbow Bridge takes him to the quest. The Bifrost line goes north, south, east, and west. It, it's, a, it, it's a rap comic. They're trying to make everything rhyme. Oh my lord. I can't read this no more. It's annoying. For fuck's sake, nigga. What is this? Uh, of course, it's formerly known as the Prince for sure. His subjects and friends, they just call him Thor. Ooh. Nigga, this is so cringe as a motherfucker. Man. And people on Twitter like giving them their ass. They're handing them their ass right now. Marvel really fucked up with Miles Morales. Thor, what if? This shit was racist as hell. Of course. It, oh, oh, the nigga says, all eyes on me. Of course. He has to say all eyes on me from Tupac. Living life of a thug nigga until the day I die. Living life of a thug nigga, 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 nigga. All eyes on me. I forgot the man. I forgot those lyrics. Man, I love too bad. So, there you go. There you go. You took him from this nice, lovable character here. Turned him into a goofball. Ah, this one even said it. Into the Spider-Verse gave us a very well-written black Latino character, Miles Morales, that doesn't rely on data stereotypes. What if ruined all of that? These people just keep making bad decisions. The Marvel and the MCU and the Phase 4 that no one wants to watch no more. Because keep pushing all this identity politics and shite. I know you want to, you want to divide the people. I know you're very keen on dividing and ruling the people, but at least give us something once in a while that we we'll love. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, Lord. People are not loving this. People are not loving this at all. Rightfully so. Miles as Thor is the worst what if travesty Marvel Comics has ever touched. Ugh. By Odin's fade. <laughs> I command you. <laughs> Because he has to say by Odin's fade, not by Odin's beard. By Odin's fade. Like I said, you, you're not a black person if you don't have a fade. You're not black if you don't have a fade. Go and get a fade, my nigga. <laughs> oh, fuck these people, man. Fuck Marvel. God damn.